How are you today, Moonlight? Yeah, the How boss is very cute. I love her. Two percent slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? How does he not notice that they're that she's sitting in the back seat? Back seat. Mizuki. You playing Warframe? Nice. Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid. Mizuki climbed up to the front and sat in the passenger seat. That is very dangerous, young lady. At least she buckled her seatbelt. Okay, time to look at everything but Mizuki. Hey, Date? Why do they call it a dashboard? Because it makes the car go faster. Okay, I don't think uh -huh. that's real. And why do they call it a tachometer? It measures how many tacos worth of revolutions the wheel spin. Because the tortilla is round. Don't climb around in the car while it's in motion. Stay buckled. Don't unbuckle for anything. Obviously. A dashboard. A wheel? Hey, Date, what would happen if I grabbed the wheel and spun it super hard? Uh, she's like... I don't remember. I think she's like... Six or eight. We would spend the rest of our very short time together thinking about how stupid that was. I'm like basically her adoptive dad. Uh, is there anything else? Glove box. Is this where you keep your weird stuff? No, that would be the bedside drawer, dear. Oh, but don't look. Damn, is it that obvious? Damn, does he keep, like, his porn and shit in there? Mizuki asking the hard questions. What are you doing here? I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I am Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. Uh. I can't just stay at the hospital. Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. This is highly inadvisable. Please do not. Yeah, she's Batman now. Uh, both of her parents are dead, and now she's Batman. This is highly inadvisable. Please do not take a six-year-old or eight-year-old or whatever to a crime Just scene. Promise not to interfere with the investigation. Actually, how old is she? Uh, that's a. Uh... Because there's, like, files. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that one. Uh, she's in sixth grade. Ha I don't remember how old you have to be. To be in sixth grade. You're like, what? Um, she's, like, 12, I think. Yeah, no, never mind. It says it right there underneath her. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, she's 12. Oh, sorry. I didn't even look at the skills. What were her skills? Studies martial arts and enjoys emotionally attacking Date. Yeah. Date is the worst dad. How did you even get in here? It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. Damn. Okay. I've been here for like ten minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. 
You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you Shut are up, not Iva. serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? Yeah. Dad is an idiot. Do you want to catch the suspect? No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmate. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. <laughs> that is very pretentious. How are you doing? Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Uh, so... You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. I was talking to Aiba out loud before I noticed Mizuki in the car. That must be what she's referring to. Mizuki is still unaware yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. It's just... hard to explain. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. Dante, I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> Dad is being weird and talking to himself again. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. What a brat. <laughs> I love this kid. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... Mizuki is best girl. I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah. Best I did. girl is Mizuki. She will always be. Why the fuck does her mom have such a long neck? Or is that like just like the effect of her clothes? I don't know, but it bothers me and I don't like that looking whole at company it. company was a big scam. Also, her bangs are. Asymmetrical, and I hate that as well. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime data. Not find any reports referencing this. It's probably because she was working with the fucking Yakuza. You must have been extraordinarily careful. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Dante? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. It doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Dante. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? Nope. This is why you're single and always will be. Oh shit, damn. Mizuki going for the fucking jugular. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Fuck. Hey. What are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. Damn. I'm not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. <laughs> hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. <laughs> this fucking kid is the best. Sunfish Pocket, Sunday, 10.33 a.m. 
This kid is my daughter. I love her. Mizuki and I walked back into Sunfish oh, Pocket. Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, no, oh, I am so sorry. Uh, I, I... Why aren't the police being like, Yo, why are you bringing the daughter of, like, the people that were killed to the crime scene? What the hell? She's the victim's... Yes. Please, let us through. Are they just gonna zoom in on this for a little bit? Yep, there we go. Yes, Moonlight, you are my daughter, but Mizuki is your sister now. Treat her well. And we've gotta ask the inspector his name like a hundred times again. What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. <laughs> Kagami becomes a serial killer in the end. It's Kagami. Kagami. I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. <laughs> Of course I remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. His name is... Hey you, what's your name? Oh my god. Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. Oh what? shit. Oh, we're both we're both just fucking with each other or something, I guess. <laughs> you getting enough rest? No, not these past few days. My best friend Kagami and I. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? The third crime scene, you show up and you're just like, "Hey, what's your name?" You too, Detective Date. He just fucking stabs us with a knife or something. No, we didn't find anything today. Assuming that there is a third crime scene. Time to look at everything that isn't relevant to the case. There's a chair. Bet you didn't know that. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renji was stabbed. A trident. Doesn't look like it has anything to do with the case. Then why did you highlight it like it's something I can look at? I looked inside the wooden box. There's nothing in there. An empty wooden box. Menu. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? Of course you would say that. Aren't you like daddy's li rich little girl or whatever? Who knows? A table. I can't find any clues on it. I'm just gonna look around at everything. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. I accidentally looked at something relevant to the case. Damn it. What? There's something inside. I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. You can fucking see the lid on top, Date! Let's open it. A watch. You can. You see it at the top. And he's this like, it has a lid, system. right? Yes, Date. Amazing inspection skills. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? I can't believe you're so fucking smart, Date. That's 200 liter capacity. Weighs 44 pounds empty. This is the kind that has a lid. We've established this.
A doorway to the kitchen. Kitchen window. Nothing looks suspicious. Inspector. <sighs> I was gonna ask him his name again. It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. This restaurant is really tacky. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that work here. At, creeper. Damn, Mizuki. Mizuki doesn't have to keep coming for my balls like this. Like, seriously. This place is something whatever. There's nothing out the window. Can I talk to the other police? What's the status? Nothing special. Okay, well that was real fucking uh, helpful there, officer. That is true. What balls? Date doesn't have any balls. We've already established this. He's missing both the left eye and his balls. Nothing special about it. Blah, blah, blah. I've already looked inside this fucking wall drum. I don't know why it's still letting me see it. Okay, beer keg. Minjun's corpse was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three Each kegs. Keg has a capacity of 20 liters. That's a really extreme ass keg stand he was trying to do. I don't think that's how you do a keg stand. Three beer kegs on the blah, blah, blah. Each can hold 20 liters and weigh 55 pounds when filled with water. An evidence marker. The door. This club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once, at 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. So the elevator only stopped on the second floor once last night. 8.55 p.m. and with about 310 pounds inside. How much does Renji weigh? The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renji was killed somewhere else. Killed somewhere else naked and then changed into his clothes. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Wow, not kinky. Of course. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. So he's strangled? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. I don't know, because whenever we found the body, he was, like, kind of gray and, like, obviously... All, like, does the body start losing color that fast? The left eye has been this pulled out. Similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. 
Reduce Shoko both had their left eye taken before they were killed. Right eye is still there. And looking hella fucked up. The time up. of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Benji's corpse is found hanging from the ceiling beam over the counter. Um, is there anything else I can face? So sedatives were detected in Rinju's body. He is barely conscious before he was killed. I mean, at least that means that he doesn't... That he didn't suffer, right? Rinju weighed about 160 pounds, and he was definitely murdered somewhere else, then carried here. Is there anything else I can look at here? Because it's acting as if there's something else. I'm gonna do what I do in Doggone Rumpa and just spin my cursor around until something is highlightable. You can leave if you need to. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? You think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. Damn. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. Uh, notice anything strange? Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Uh. Do you remember what you said? How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Or saw last night. Not said. Notice anything strange? Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Damn, okay, Mizuki. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Oh shit. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Mizuki is looking at the spot where we found Renju. Hey. Are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? I'm not stalling. I just want you to be okay. But deep inside... Yeah, she's fucked up. Security Hi. camera. Did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. So there's no footage of the incident. Is there anything else I can click on? It. Eh. Cash register. The register near the door doorway. Blah blah blah. Anchor. A big anchor. Mm. 
Any places you can think of that I don't know about? Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the Entertainment District? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Do you want to talk to Oda? Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Do you want to talk to Iris? Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Yokocho? Is that like a real place in Tokyo? Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. T maybe. All right, let's head out. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Mm, Matsushita Diner. 